What's up YouTube? Capital G here. Got a very disturbing duel and play for you guys to check out. This one is showing off the brand new Smile Universe FTK that is starting to catch on with duelists. And as much as it pains me to say this, this could be what ruins the national season for a lot of unlucky duelists out there. Because believe me, if you play against this deck, you ain't going to be smiling if your opponent pulls this play off. It is an FTK and um, it is pretty consistent as uh, much as it kind of pains me to say that one of the big things about this deck that is really scary is it reminds me very much of um you guys remember like the pendulum ftk that was done with uh, lira loose independent nightingale and the supreme king starving venom and all that good stuff well this is very similar because basically if you're not able to pull off the ftk like if you just don't have the cards to do it you're basically just playing pendulum magicians and that's kind of scary because now you're talking about an ftk deck that actually Actually has a backup plan like you guys see right here that he opens with the performer pile smile sorcerer you need this because it's going to search your smile universe which is you know a win con of this deck but let's just say that you didn't have this in your opening hand wouldn't you just look at Cerberus dragon shrine like servant of endymion and then chronograph like doesn't this just look like a standard pendulum magician opening like that's the scary thing about this deck is if you don't ftk you're still just playing pendulum magicians and you can still beat decks with like triple negate and all that other good stuff but you guys will see exactly how it's going to be set up and it is relatively easy because a lot of these cards these pendulum cards are just like <laughs> really searchable and even one of the cards that is going to help do the burn damage is also just kind of searchable so uh <laughs> good looking on konami anyways you guys know electromite is part of every pendulum play ever go ahead pop get that draw play master cerberus go ahead and get the jackal so that you can summon now you're going for some guard dragon plays you're not going to summon what you might imagine here he's actually just going going to summon an odd eyes uh, art pendulum dragon you need to get this into like basically you need to get a bunch of high uh, attack monsters in your extra deck because you are going to pseudo pendulum summon those monsters out during your opponent's turn you need to summon three monsters to attack equals over eight thousand or i guess it can be even more than three monsters but you gotta get those monsters into your extra deck first so you can obviously link some of those monsters off the field and you would look at something like the smile sorcerer and think oh well okay this is how you search smile universe cap but it is level eight not exactly the easiest thing to pendulum summon but since we got this piece of crap in the game you guys know that high level monsters that are difficult to summon are easy to summon as long as we have sorry you just score dread so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to search for our nurse nurse is searchable because she you know konami decided well i guess she was supposed to be a dark lord card the entire time but now that she's a dark lord she is searchable if she would have never been changed to a dark lord card i think like this ftk would not exist that's your normal summon right there there has been no normal summon during this entire turn and even though he already has smile universe you can't really rely on like hard drawing smile universe so basically when you summon your smile sorcerer you are just going to be able to add it from your deck to your hand and then you just set it and it's basically gg no re this is basically how you're going to win it smile universe combined with the nurse with the nurse reficule and um we know what nurse reficule does usually this is used in conjunction with cards that make your opponent gain a bunch of life points so that you actually end up burning them instead of making your opponent gain but smile universe is it's kind of like a pin pendulum summon you special summon monsters from your extra deck you need to have something uh some type of link monster so that so that you can summon more than one you got the extra monster zones open but you special summon a bunch of pendulum monsters from your extra deck and they have their effects negated which is irrelevant they also like can't attack and you can't special summon or normal summon during the turn that you like use the effect of smile universe all of that is irrelevant because you're doing it during your opponent's turn so you wouldn't be able to do any of that stuff anyways but what smile universe does is it makes the monster it makes your opponent gain uh life points equal to the monster's attacks but obviously since we have nurse on field your opponent is going to burn for that damage instead so all you have to do draw phase standby phase what Ever. just go ahead and activate your copy of smile universe you summon three big monsters from your extra deck again this one the uh, uh the odd eyes arc was summoned right from the deck with the guard dragon lp obviously like master cerberus is just one of those monsters that you know it's pretty easy if you hard draw it you can get it and use it with jackal and all that good stuff it's going to end in your extra deck but yeah you just summon three big monsters or multiple big monsters that equal over 8,000 attack and then your opponent will obviously get burned and again it's 
crazy because if you don't pull off this FTK, you are just playing Pendulum Magicians. Like, you can still do your basic plays, and you can just kind of win through negation. So, yeah, it's, a, <laughs> it's pretty damn disgusting. But let's pause for a quick second and check out what this deck looks like on paper. Okay, so this is what the deck looks like on paper. And if you look at the composition, it is incredibly similar to Pendulum Magicians. Obviously, there are going to be some things in here, like your Smile Sorcerer, your Nurse Reficule, and then some other spells like Smile Universe and uh, Banishment of the Dark Lords, which is just to get the, the uh, Nurse Reficule. These are things that traditional Pendulum builds don't run. You could also probably throw Phantom Sky Blaster in there. But everything else, I mean, like all of these other Pendulum cards, Master Cerberus, Jackal, you see this in all Pendulum builds. Servant of Endymion being potentially a one-card Electromite off its Pendulum effect that will summon itself and then also summon another big monster from your deck. That monster can just be summoned back later off of Smile Universe to uh, potentially, uh, you know, help you FTK. Well, I guess you can't really call it an FTK now that I'm thinking about it because it does happen on your opponent's turn, but it basically is an FTK. You just wait for them to, to enter the draw phase or standby or whatever, and you flip over your Smile Universe, and then the game is essentially over. So to me, it's kind of like an FTK. This card is really good. Also, it makes Electromites, and again, it summons the monster, the big monster monster for you to just summon back and potentially kill your opponent everything else i mean you're obviously super trying to turbo out dark worms because you got <laughs> triple copies of um dragon shrine and then also you know double dragon's ravine with foolish burial and double terraforming so getting the discard is obviously like getting the dark worm in the graveyard is obviously a point of interest the only card i would maybe challenge in this build is something like upstart goblin because you don't want to take away your ability to potentially otk your opponent and sometimes a lot sometimes upstart goblin might put you out of that threshold so just kind of be careful with that i know that there may not be a better card to run in that place but you could just find something like one of these cards and then just bump it to a higher number maybe you could play three copies of dragon's ravine if that's too bricky just find something else but upstart goblin could potentially bite you in the end